Whoa. 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 Leaves. And you can go through them. What's in here? Shard of Nature's Fang. Oh, that's sweet. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So, tell me what it is that you desire. You wish for another heart container, yes? I shall grant the power you seek. Yes! You can! You can get full hearts from the DLC. Cool! Right? Yes! Haha! <laughs> oh, that's great. Link, it appears that you have sufficient power. You should not seek to increase this any further. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Wait, so is 38 hearts the maximum then? Or wait, wait, wait. It, no, it would be. It'd be 28. That's weird. The DLC gives us one more heart container, but no more. That's kind of odd. They went they went for a partial measure, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hey guys and gals, I am Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we cleared the, what you guys told me, is the introductory, the, uh, the baby's first one-hit KO test. And today, we are in Tabantha, where I would like to take on the second. Because I've been told, in the comment section, that I, that I can conquer these in whatever order I so choose. And that order, I think, would make sense if I went in reverse order. So we're starting with Rivali, we're, en we're going to Gerudo, then to Elden, and then ending off with Lanayru. I think that'll be pretty cool. But before I do that, I was experimenting off screen. Okay, I do have a shield. And I found a really cool thing I can do. Just watch this. Okay. Drop this. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what I'm going to call this. This is, uh, hmm. I think this is, I have no other option. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't work. But, but, I broke my shield. Yeah, that's the downside. For some reason, bombs instantly break shields. I did not know this. I don't know why. But that's how it works. All right, so we're going to be heading over to the ex-champion ba champions ballad. I could have warped over there, but I I would rather just walk or fly. I I think it it makes a lot more sense to do that because while I do that, I can ask, "How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you doing great? Are you sad that this series is ending?" That seems to be the general consensus in the comments section. They, along with me, are a bit saddened and uh, thrown off by the fact that we are at the point where we are at the end game. There's only a, a handful of episodes left. Even after I, I show off bonus content, there's just not that much left. Uh, what is this, episode 129? Yeah, it's episode 129, and I would probably see us going to episode 150, I think would be fair. Maybe 20 more episodes. But there isn't much remaining in this series, and and some people are sad. But I'm excited. I'm excited because I've already released, or I've already already announced what the very next series is. Uh, all right, good. Just going right up there. The next series is going to be uh, a four-player co-op run of Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and. It's already almost fully recorded. I'm just waiting for art to come through, and then I I would have already been released it months ago. But the art has been a bit of a trial. Uh, we we haven't been able to rip the assets from the game like we normally do. Just they don't exist online for some reason, and we can't find the the ISO, and it's just it's rough. Oh, hi, hi guess. So uh, we've been actually doing some of some art in uh, on our own. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. The candelabra? Wait, maybe? Oh, oh, it's the map! Oh, that's cool! Oh, that's really cool! It's a... Uh... 
it's a like a satellite image of the of the map. I oh, that's so cool. Was that a flash of light? Perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Oh. Hmm. How long have you been here? I didn't even notice your arrival. Does he have a badminton birdie on his ear? He does. <laughs> Why? Ah, we meet again, and it seems you caught me, well, talking to myself. Oh. This monument, I must admit it has taken me by surprise. My teacher's unfinished song mentions me such monuments, and now one has appeared before my very eyes. Unfinished song? Mm. Yes, this song is mostly complete, however. I uh, was playing badminton, and I do not have time to finish it. My key, my teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. I wish to weave the vi missing pieces together and finish the song. Oh. That is why I am roaming the areas mentioned in the lyrics. Oh. Ah, sweet joy! How glorious to sing this song in front of the real monument. The song my his teacher has left behind. There is a verse about the trials that Champion Rivali overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Vin's ally saw the land of cloud, Meadow's champion, swift and proud. The hero's power shall grow, seek trials monuments show. One, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Two, race down a peak's ring's adorn. Three, Shoot for targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. So did the verse move you? It was written in honor of the champion challenging the trial. The confidence it must have taken to master a divine beast. How inspiring. Oh. My teacher's dream is now mine to fulfill. An unfinished song weighs heavily on a bard's soul. I won't allow it. But in order to see this dream come to fruition, I must learn more about the champions of long ago. Thankfully, Teba and the Rito village elder Kennelly told me some wonderful stories of the Rito champion. Yet this unfinished song still pulls at my heart, and so my hometown is but a stopping point on this journey of mine. Ex-Champion Rivali song, new objective. I was expecting we would get the weapon and this area would turn into a one-hit kill zone. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, well, I have a, I have a good idea, and I don't no use the camera that often, but I think it's appropriate here. Boosh. Save. And then... Let's take a picture of this one. This makes a lot of sense and is going to save me so much work. Just taking a picture of these these overheads. Save. And then one there. Wait, did we... We did not take that one, alright. That is so cool. I wonder... That... That's a... That's just really cool that they, they took those aerial shots of, of this. And it makes sense because Rivali could fly. Of course they would... They would have a very, they would be very good at writing maps, and their topographical skills would be great. Although I guess uh, Rivali didn't make that, but still, it makes sense for a Rito-specific quest. Uh, where are we going with this? Here, give me a moment, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna study these for a moment and find a good direction. This one's there. Actually, it would be, it would be here. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. That is. Oh yeah, that's that's this. That one's right there. And then this one's a little bit more t No, it's not. Oh no. Whoa. I know exactly where that one is too. That one is right. And it they even mentioned tar shooting targets to win. That's right there. So in order of how these appear, let's go I'm not sure if I'm allowed to warp or not. 
let's try warping to Heber Tower and go uh, south from there. Going back to what I was saying before we started off the the episode's goal, uh, we decided to make some unique art for Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And like I said, the LP is almost finished, so uh, we kind of know what we're what we're doing in that in that aspect, what we're going to need. Uh, and for the stats screen, since it's going to be I'm going to be tracking stats, and it's going to be a competition of sorts. Uh, we needed symbols for each of our characters. Now in game, these are very low resolution and. Even if I upscale to 1080p or, or higher resolutions what by emulating, it's just a lot of hassle to do. And that's when David suggested that we, we each make uh, pictures of our respective characters in Microsoft Paint. And so, Ryan, I, we all thought that was a great idea. Like, as soon as he suggested that, we, we were immediately on board. So, uh, Ryan made up some templates. It's a fire. Do I have these? Yeah, shoot the flame dragon's... Oh, shoot the flame dragon's horn. So we need to be waiting. Hi! We need to be waiting for Dinral. And so we each made them in... Uh, we, we got templates in MS Paint. It was like 250 pixels squared. And uh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I posted them on Twitter. Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? I came here because the Elder ass tasked me with keeping watch on the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently these days. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the incident with Mado, I can't blame them for worrying. So far everything seems fine, however. Just to be safe, I'll be scoping things out for a while yet. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through this valley at night. When it does, its horn lights up. Or its horns light up. There's something about that light that's truly captivating. Yes! I'm gonna use your fire, and they're not even spoilers because I did I did release these on on Twitter. I have a Twitter, by the way. You should follow it. I I I usually post. I, I've been a lot more active on Twitter of late. So if if you want to get updates about the channel or just stuff that's going on, uh, it's it's Twitter. What is it? dot com forward slash pal plays night. I personally don't like Facebook, uh, and that's why my channel does not have a Facebook. It's ugh. Facebook is a lot, a lot of a. Uh, I have a lot of mixed and negative feelings about ba Facebook. For the most part, for one part, they are very callous with your information, uh, and I, I don't want to sound like I'm one of those people who's really paranoid. But as someone who lives in the computer world and and has friends who are quite good with com with programming. I know exactly how easy it is to get someone's information, and Facebook does not hold on to <laughs> hold on to that well, in my opinion. Uh, also, it just ugh, it it's a huge time waster, in my opinion. More so than video games, it's just ugh, it's a very addicting, and I'm not a big fan of it. Also, that's really cool the uh, the focus effect. I I've never really made note of that, but. There's a really cool focus, a focus peeking there. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, okay. I need a picture of that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Uh, replace picture? Yes. Uh, and then self-portrait. Look at that. Oh, and the blood moon's above it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Replace picture. That is so beautiful. That has to be our thumbnail. That that can't not be our thumbnail. Alright, so... Equip normal bow, or not normal bow, normal arrows. And... Hit it? Yeah, oh, that's so pretty! Oh, 
I love the glowing effects in this game. They're just... They're just beautiful. And I know that Nintendo tried to go for a next generation feel with this series, and some people don't like that. But I, for one... Hmm. It's... Some of the visuals of this game are truly breathtaking, and that's one of them. That, that, mmm, was gorgeous. Thank you, Dinral, for being such a fantastic sight to behold. <sighs> I'm not even sure which dragon's my favorite. They all look amazing. Dinral has this really nice effect because his scales look like ash. If you've ever uh, had a campfire before and let it run down, uh, it, the white ash and then there are orange embers mixed in, it looks just like his scales, and I, mmm. Just everything about that dragon, I, I love. Shira, Gomar Shrine. Aim for stillness. Hmm. Now, I've gotten the impression from last episode that... Don't, don't you dare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I've gotten the impression that this is only just beginning. That the Great Plateau... I need a quick shot, Bo. Please that the difficulty is going to ramp up significantly, and I'm not sure about that, considering that we're not getting one hit killed anymore. I would think... Yeah! <laughs> that was cool. Uh, we're gonna do that one more time. And we're gonna follow it this time. Yeah! Explosions. Uh, stage Vigilant for chests. Chests. And this doesn't seem too difficult thus far. It, it's definitely... The, the scope of these shrines feels bigger. They're not just one-on-one-off -on -one -off things that are... Uh, that I, actually, yeah, this, this is a good point. These are not adjusted towards being an open-ended difficulty. With other shrines, I'm going to... I'm going to pull your guys' knowledge back to the current solution, where the solution of that was as simple as, as shooting one shock arrow and being done. Uh, wait, did I miss a... Yeah, I missed a chest. These ones are adjusted towards someone completing all the Divine Beasts, whereas every other shrine, except for, like, major tests of strength, they are not. Oh, uh, boy. Fly back. You know, I wonder... Yeah, I was going to say... I could stasis this, like so, and then, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Then I don't have to worry about following the movement. Also, stasis just looks great. This whole game is, is beautiful, and I, looking back on the series, I have not praised this game enough. I really haven't. There, there's just so much right about this. Go. Wait. I mean, okay, we can sh just shoot bomb arrows, but that's that's not cool, man. That's our cue. Open. Throw this in. And then let's get out of here. Yeah. Woo. Any chests? This is the best place to hide chests because people are get carried away with, oh man, I'm flying, I'm going. And, and they forget. They, they forget that there are chests hidden. Also right here, because people are going to be DIing uh, that way. They would put chests here, but they're not yet. Which, I mean, I don't mean to sound like I am, I'm a victim of gambler's fallacy. Link, you know you can just put your arms above that, right? This is, you could, you could do that in Ocarina of Time. Guess he has T-Rex arms in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Catching some big air. The scale of the shrine is, is great. I'm tempted just to fly all back through this, but I, I know that... I know that we're strapped for time. I know that we're strapped for time. In fact, we this episode, I think, is almost over, so... I probably shouldn't tarry him too much longer. Meadow's emblem. A commemorative symbol of a wind trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Huh. That three em Collect three open uh, emblems to open a path to a new challenge. Well, thank you, Gazer Beam. Two remain. Dun-dun-dun. 
updated X Champions Volley song. So we now know where to go. And I think next... I think we'll end off the episode by going to Dronox Pass. And unlocking the shrine. Not necessarily conquering it, unlocking it. Shawarvo Shrine. Now you might be wondering, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, this, this is too good of an opportunity to overlook. In the comments section a long time ago, so I don't even know where this comment is. Okay, he's done. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Got it. Run, 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 run. In the comment section a long time ago, someone said that completing the game will will open a new a new opportunity with Kilton, and I want to investigate that. So I guess this will be a good way for us to kind of pad out the episode by seeing Kilton. Also, it means I get to do the sweet voice. Hey, Kilton! Long time no see. This smell. Sniff, sniff. Is it a Molduga? Or perhaps... Ah! Oh, it's just you. Ah, that heavenly smell. Could it be that you've been mingling with monsters? I must admit I'm a bit jealous. Good evening. How may I, may I help you? Spend some mon. Your current balance is 118 mon. What monster gear would you like to buy? Okay, he sells something else apparently. Let's scroll down. He doesn't sell anything else. Uh, let me... About monsters. I don't think I've asked him this before. Tia, tia! <laughs> you want to know about monsters? I just love talking about monsters. Oh, oh, let's talk about the huge ones. The, the stone colossus, the forest giant, the giant sand beast. What monster would you like to hear about? The Stone Colossus, more commonly known as the, the Talus. They masquerade as normal rocks, burying themselves in the ground. Stubborn is an understatement. According to the most recent count, there are 40 of them in Hyrule. I'm currently after them myself, but they're just so big, I can't even get near them. So, could I ask you to find them and uh, harvest their materials? I'm talking all of them. That way, I'll be able to analyze the scent of their fluids that will inevitably stick to your body during battle. The scent of a stone talus, which is made of stone, stone talus is fluids. I think I need to explain basic science to you. Also, you are wearing, I never noticed this, you are wearing a Lizalfos' hand as gloves. Nintendo, why? That will allow me to determine their habits, behaviors, and overall quantities. Qualities. I'm counting on you. Can I help you with anything else? Let's see how many stone taluses you've harvested thus far. Looks like 25 out of 40? No. I feel like I would have gotten more than that. I guess not. That's... Wow. Uh, about monsters. Uh, forest Giant. The Forest Giant, also known as the Hinox. Cold medication that will get you removed from YouTube if you include it in your title. These sleepy one-eyed giants spend their days in forests around the world. According to the latest count, there are also 40 of them in Hyrule. You've defeated- Okay, that's kind of the number I was expecting for the Tassone Taluses. 31 of 40 Hinoxes. Sure. I would fully expect I've gotten every single Moduga. <laughs> The giant sand beast, more commonly known as the Molduga, or a Pikmin enemy if you're familiar with Pikmin 3. They're giant monsters that live in the sands of the desert, or anywhere else if you mod the game. According to my sources, there are only four of them in Hyrule. I only recall three, so I may be missing one. Let's see how many Moldugas you've defeated. Looks like you- that, okay, that's exactly what I thought. Three out of the four. Good luck on your hunt, I'm counting on you. Uh, that's probably something that we're gonna be doing. I'm not sure if it's a quest or not, or that if what the rewards are, but I assume that there are rewards, and at the very least, I would want to see what happens when we do that. So, yeah, we'll probably uh, go on a bit of a, a binge at some point. Also, I killed him just for sport. I'm sorry, this is the wrong way. Yeah, I'll probably kill them at some point. 
and come back and talk to Kilton and get whatever reward there is. Uh, if you guys know, specifically, I won't ask you about the stone taluses because those are crazy and there are a ton of them, but the Muldugas. I've gotten four of them. Uh, one was at the Southern Oasis, one was at the Arbor's Grounds, and the other one was at, uh, I believe, this shrine. Yeah, this shrine, the one with the torches. So it, wherever the other ones are, I would assume they'd probably be around here. Uh, tell me, tell me, and I'll, I'll get around getting that specifically. Otherwise, I'll probably look up the other locations at some point. All right. And now I, I don't feel... Whoa. This is so cool. This is really cool. I, I, um, I, I kind of fell in love. One. I fell in love with this DLC. Wait, did I not do it? Here, uh, I fell in love with this DLC last episode, I believe it was, and when when we did the the Mission Possible uh, shrine, I kind of fell in love with it, and it's just it's just knocking me out of the park. All right, uh, quest time. Shoot four targets to win. Okay. So I think what we need to do. Is line it up like this and go one, two, three. Yeah, shoot all of them before they have a chance to respawn. That's how we're supposed to do it, and by. Oh, I was right! There is something at the bottom of this pool. I knew it. I knew there was. I mean, there, I knew there should have been. Sweet! It just felt so wrong that there was nothing down there. Okay, well, neat. And on that note, we're actually going to end the episode now. Because I I don't... I want to be keeping episodes a little bit shorter than I, I normally do. Or than, than I have been doing for the past couple of episodes. They've been plus 30 minutes, and I want to avoid that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, and would like to see me grow as a channel, please hit the share button, and share one of my favorite... one of your favorite videos that I've made with your friends. Go horse. <laughs> Otherwise, join me next time. Oh, I killed him. Oh, I'm... Oh, that... Mm. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. I am sorry, Mr. Horse. Oh, that's... Uh, that's, not a good, that's not so good. Join me next time on a Monday or Wednesday for more Breath of the Wild. Our prompt for this one is race down a peak rings adorned, which makes me believe that we're going to be shield surfing. Also, the visuals of these are, are just pretty sweet. It's not every day you see you see stuff like this. You see the shrine glow outside of a shrine. So uh, oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. It's Superman, but surfing. Superman 64 meets Tony Hawk.